All right, today we're gonna learn one of the most important chords on a guitar. This is like one of those foundational chords that's the building block of a lot of the things you're gonna learn in the future, and that is G major, or just G. One of the reasons G is so good to practice for a beginner is because you use all four of your fingers. So we're gonna get right into the chord, and if you look up how to play G on the internet, you're gonna see some different variations. So one that's probably the most common is you're gonna see the G with your third finger on the E string, your second finger on the low E string, and your first finger on the A string. This is gonna be the most common way that you're gonna see this. I do not recommend learning G this way first. We're gonna talk about why in a second. You're also gonna see G demonstrated this way, which is the most difficult way for a beginner to play it because you're putting your fourth finger on the high E string, your third finger on the low E string, and so it's like kind of a tough angle, and your first finger is hanging out. This has its uses, okay, and it'll be good to learn this later, but what the way that I want to teach it is going to be the way that's going to allow you to switch to other chords with as little hand movement as possible. So that's why I'm going to teach it this way. Fourth finger is going on the high E string on the third fret. The third finger is going to go right above the fourth finger. So both of these guys are going to be together on the third fret on the thinnest two strings. So this is where they are, that's where they're gonna be. Then your first finger is gonna go on the second fret of the A string, right there, he's behind. Now your second finger is gonna go on the third fret on the sixth string. So this is what it looks like, okay? So here we go, this is our G chord. And this is what it sounds like. Okay, this is what you want it to sound like. Some things to be careful about is if the second string doesn't sound. Hear that? You want it to sound like this. It might sound like this. If it sounds like that, it's because your thumb might be up here, or for whatever reason, your middle finger is gently resting on that A string that's making it sound dead. So if you're hearing this, you wanna rotate your hand out. So take your hand and you wanna make it go out like this, and make sure you're getting just your fingertips on the fretboard. Okay, so if you see, if I start to get my thumb too high and I start doing this, it becomes impossible for me to press with my fingertips. So I wanna have my thumb down and I wanna have a nice curve in my hand like this, not like this, nice curve in my hand so that only my fingertips are touching, okay? And now it's gonna be possible that you're gonna have the same issue on the next string. If you have that, then it's because your first finger is draping down and touching the string. So you may have this problem where you've got your fingers in the right place, but it's not sounding right. And if it's not sounding right, that's probably why. So once you get them all right, this is what it's going to sound like. And if you watch the next video, I'm going to teach you how to switch to the next chord in a really easy way. So we're going to learn how to switch to D in a way that's super simple, but it's only going to work if you learn the four finger G. So thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the subscribe button to get the latest guitar lessons.